I spent three years in Malaya on active service, uh, left eight of my friends behind. Sorry. Let me have it. I'm here today to commemorate a brother I lost in a prisoner of war camp in, in Germany. I myself was in the area. This is not till 1946. It's a proud moment for somebody that's been in the forces and that I've got a son-in-law that's in the Navy and is proud to see him in uniform. I work in Liverpool for the um, Royal Marines Merseyside and HMS Eaglet, so it's lovely to see them marching today. <laughs> I was surprised to see how many teenagers were here, you know, and, and that's a proud moment. And to see the the young cadets marching, that's a great thing. It's one of those things, we've just got to do our job, be out there, do your duty and come back home. <laughs> There's a lot of people that have lost their lives, you know, to sort of <coughs> keep us safe. When it, it, it die, get killed, obviously it's so quick you don't even know most of the time, particularly in my unit. So it's just a big adventure, you don't think of the danger. And you never believe it's going to be you. Really brings it home to you, especially when you see all the old veterans marching and think to think what they've gone through. I admire those men who were marching out last, the British Legion. If you look at those men and see how proud they were, shoulders back, swinging their arms, the military will never go out of them. We never we shouldn't forget, by rights. We would always remember what they did for us.